This is a demonstration to present Antwerp's Intelligent Document Processing Platform, CMR Plus, integration with PEGA, that enables a seamless automation and workflow orchestration program. The demonstration will show you how to configure a CMR Plus instance for a specific use case. How easy it is to add and configure the CMR Plus instance in the PEGA Dev Studio. A runtime demonstration of uploading and extracting the required fields from a highly unstructured document type. A detailed view of the QC process across Antworks and PEGA screens. And a seamless integration that makes workflow orchestration and automation easy for PEGA customers. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be using an automated clearinghouse authorization form commonly known as an ACH authorization form. The ACH form is a complex unstructured document and extracting key fields such as text, handwriting, signatures, logos, checkboxes, tables, etc. to feed into a downstream system is a challenging task for many applications. This is where Antwerp's CMR Plus excels. In this demo, CMR Plus will be extracting the following fields from the ACH authorization form and returning the data back to PEGA. Form name, client name, a list of account numbers, a checkbox which identifies the type of request whether it's a new authorization form, a change in an existing one, or if we are trying to delete an authorization form. And, two tables, one is authorized transactions with monetary limits and the other one is without. To start with, CMR Plus would need to be configured for this integration with the PEGA instance to have the API handshakes facilitate the flow of information and data between the two applications. On this screen, we see all the documents that have been configured for integration with PEGA. Let's go into the ACH authorization form and check how the process is configured. We have identified and configured the fields to be extracted, but forms may not always be standard. For example, consider the first table where we see that the last three columns are not clearly delimited with vertical lines. CMR Plus would identify this and consider these as three different columns. Antwerp CMR Plus is now natively integrated and available within the Easy Drag and Drop Pega Dev Studio. The Antwerp CMR Plus instance for ACH authorization can now be added to the workflow with a simple click from the Automations menu. Let's see the properties of this smart shape. The smart shape has been intuitively designed to replicate the same hierarchy as Antwerp CMR Plus. Let's start with first selecting the department name, in this case, Banking. Within Banking, we have several processes that have been configured. Here we select ACH Payments, and within ACH Payments we are picking the ACH authorization as a document type. Essentially, multiple use cases for each of the industries, processes or document types can be configured centrally within the Antwerp CMR Plus Smart Shape. Once we pick the ACH authorization document type, we see all the fields that have been configured within CMR Plus that are available in PEGA, like the client name, account numbers, the type of request, the form name, and the two tables. Let's suppose here, if the client name needs to be mapped to a different data element within PEGA, you can now search for the data element and map the respective data dictionary to the fields that are returning from CMR Plus. This is a one-time configuration that would be done for any process integrated within the two platforms. Now, let's see how the case lifecycle is designed for ACH authorization. Here the first stage is to upload the document where we have a validation check for the operator. If it's a valid operator, the workflow allows them to upload the documents to the Antwerp CMR Plus Smart Shape, otherwise it will go into the wait stage. Once the Antwerp CMR plus Smart Shape has completed processing, the workflow allows for a QC of the extracted data, after which there's a review. Depending on the type of request, which is the value that is returned from the document, new, change or delete, different stages are configured to decide on which operator queue will the extracted datasets would go next. This completes designing the Smart Shape within PEGA.
Now let's send a form using this ACH payments case type during runtime and see how the Antwerp CMR Plus Smart Shape performs. Here we upload documents where the operator has been validated for sending these documents. We'll select the file ACH authorization form. You would notice the category is autofilled as ACH authorization. Let's attach this file. Our process is named P4001. And now we hit submit for Antwerp CMR Plus to start processing this document. On the home page, we enter P4001 to check on the particular ID. We see that the extraction is pending QC verification. Let's go into that process. And we see that it's ready for QC. Once we launch QC update, this opens up the Antwerp CMR plus QC screen to do a check on the data that has been extracted. Let's click on the account numbers field. We see that it gets highlighted in the document, and so does the client name and the form name. Once the QC has verified all the data, let's go to the tables. Here we see that the three columns are properly extracted, the values seem to be perfect and need no changes. But if there is an amend, we can double-click the field to make any changes, and this can be repeated for any of the extracted fields. You may also notice that CMR Plus intuitively understood the unstructured table to extract its contents. This highlights CMR Plus ability of accurate extractions of many variant data like this, regardless of their position in a document. In a different situation, let's say a new variation of the ACH authorization form comes in from a different bank and the client name is something else. For example, we'll take the text company as a valid client name. In such cases, the QC can add patterns right here to train the system of a new client name field on this screen itself as a valid identifier and this will become part of the machine learning algorithm from the next batch of documents. Thus, we can build the knowledge base and train the model from the QC screen itself. On the extracted fields, a green checkmark signifies that Antwerp CMR Plus is highly confident of the extracted value being accurate. The amber in the form name is because this is a lookup field and that's why Antwerp CMR Plus signifies a medium confidence that the value is right. But we can see that the value is exactly what is on the form. The summary of this extraction shows the batch ID, the file name, number of characters extracted, zero characters modified and that our accuracy is 100%. With that, we'll finish this QC update process and that takes us back to PEGA for a review. This is the PEGA review screen where we can see that the same form is again displayed in the PEGA review tab. We have values here that were returned from Antwerp CMR Plus and this allows us to verify the values once again now within PEGA before we go ahead and submit essentially building a two-step verification process. The second QC step can also be made optional. Once satisfied with the extraction, the form can be submitted for further downstream processing. And that ends the demonstration. In summary and to recap, we saw how a CMR Plus instance was configured for a specific use case how easy it is to add and configure the CMR Plus instance in the PEGA Dev Studio, a runtime demonstration of uploading and extracting the required fields from a highly unstructured document type, a detailed view of the QC process across Antworks and PEGA screens, and a seamless integration that makes workflow orchestration and automation easy for PEGA customers. To learn more about the integration benefits of PEGA and Antworks CMR Plus, please speak with our sales teams.